Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici. Welcome my friends and welcome to my channel Fountain Pen Therapy. I'm going to be reviewing today another beautiful Delta pen. I'm so excited to see that Delta is back, as we say, and I'm uh, going to try to purchase as many pens as I can. Some of them are just too expensive for my budgets, but um, the ones that I can't afford, I can tell you I'm just going to order them, wait for them to come, and I will be reviewing them, so stay tuned. Today, the Delta pen, or the new Delta pen that I will be looking at with you is the Dune Horizon, a gorgeous, beautiful green motif pen. And um, without any further ado, let's go to my overhead camera and let's take a look at, okay, a quick unboxing, stylish, reminds me of the, the old, you know, Delta packaging. Right? the Delta logo inscribed in kind of a, a relief that, you know, against the light it looks like silver, but it's actually a darker, shiny black. Um, we open that up. Inside is a nice, a nice box with uh, fake alligator uh, leather, I guess it is. Inside, we open it up. Well, we have our booklet, and there is the pen. Isn't that gorgeous? Delta, fine writing instruments since 1982. Ah, let me tell you, I, I, I am so ecstatic about having to see the new these Delta pens, and this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Actually, the pictures on the websites just don't do justice to this pen. When I ordered it, I had some doubts, but when I received it and I'll show you some of the just the the resin it's just gorgeous so let's take a look at it that's the pen we will put back the box and here it is isn't that nice isn't that nice isn't that nice you got some blue look at you got some blue in there it's the horizon you see the horizon number 50 056 with the Delta Italy at the top here uh, pointed pointed um, finial on top kind of rounded at the bottom and you can see it's semi-transparent and underneath you get to see all of the rose gold uh, trimmings so uh, let me tell you uh, the camera doesn't show the rose gold as much as I would like to but um, there it is. You've got some of the rings. It's a piston filler uh, that you can, um, that functions from up here, okay? And uh, you have a, a ink window where you could see the level of ink there. So the um, beautiful uh, clip, Delta Classic with the little round ball. Uh, that facilitates the clipping so that's hey okay, isn't that nice there you go look at that blue chatoyancy there ah, just just fabulous let me tell you that's why i'm saying the the um the uh pictures on the websites that are selling these pens and there's not that many uh it just doesn't do justice to this pen i'm so glad i I picked it up at a very, very reasonable price, by the way. I think I paid this 123 or 125, 125 euros, which in Canadian dollars is roughly $180, and much less in American dollars, uh, what, maybe, maybe 150, 160 American dollars. So here it is. And uh, there's the nib. Isn't that gorgeous? You know what? I made a mistake. I was convinced that I had rose gold as part of my order, but no, I must have ordered just straight gold. There's no rose in there. So the camera is doing a picking it up job. My apologies. 
I was convinced. I think my rose gold is was my with my Ferrari that I just finished reviewing. I I was convinced I had chosen rose, but no, this is just straight gold. And you know what? The straight gold works better, I think, with the green. So um, you know, had it been rose gold, I don't think you. I think it wouldn't have matched this greenish blue uh, resin. Now, just forgot about the the nib. There's the nib delta. And you, as you'll see, this is just a beautiful 1.1 stub. Writes really nicely. There you go. Ah, very nice. So that's the outer shell and the inner shell. Let's do a quick size comparison. Um, here is my Pen BBS, one of my Pen BBS pens, which is, you know, little bit bigger. My Tabaldi N60 is significantly bigger. My Laban is, um, took that out because when I saw this, it reminded me, in fact, of my Laban, if you will, okay? But, uh, you know, in terms of the color scheme, there we go. In terms of uh, its comparison with the Leonardo um, Momento Zero, you can see that um, it's almost the same size, very similar design. Here's my Mojan or Moonman M800. This is my Ferrore uh, Aquapetra, and this is the one that has the rose gold uh, trimmings, which matches better the, frankly, the the you know the reddish purple amethyst uh, coloring in there. And this is my journal, and. When I saw this um, Dune Horizon, it immediately um, reminded me of my of the journal. And as you could see, sorry, you could see it is very very similar in design. That's why I think this has got a modern modern design, but a vintage style, if you will, or maybe a modern style with a vintage design <laughs> as you wish okay and uh, comparing to my uh, my diplomat arrow it's a slightly bigger but i would say almost equivalent so that's the same comparison now in terms of the writing uh, sample first of all the ink the ink i will be using today is the uh, mobla irish green very nice uh, green ink one of my favorite green inks it's real green you know it doesn't come out brownish it doesn't come out light light it's a nice green ink so that's the ink in terms of my notebook uh what i have for you today let me just uh, here go back a little bit this is a notebook that i get um their tomo river paper uh, the notebook i purchased it on etsy and it's good ink ink pressions i've had um, my uh, my um Ink Journal is from the same company. It's a handmade, it's handmade stationery. Uh, very nice, finished notebook. And uh, it comes with uh, even some blotter paper, so uh, very handy. And uh, I've been writing in there, so here we go. It's a lined version. I usually like the grids, but uh, I don't think this came in grid. So, but I did want to try them, and I, I think it's a very, very nice paper, and it's Tomo River, so you can't go wrong, as they say. Now, does the pen post, by the way? Yes, it does, and it posts very generously. Um, in fact, we'll, we'll write, no, you know what? I don't need to, I never do, and I, I just don't like my, to ruin, I just don't like to ruin my pen. So, here we go. So this is the Delta Dune Horizon. And um, it has the uh, gold trimmings. The nib is a Delta steel gold 
1.1 stub. The nib is uh, smooth. Um, Got to tell you right out of the box, you know, no, no, uh, no fine tuning whatsoever. Just Delta quality. Um, the ink I'm using today is the Mont Blanc Irish Green. Um, in terms of the smoothness of the nib, extremely smooth. Very constant. There's no skipping whatsoever. Wet. So, don't have much to say, I got to tell you. It's a little light. It's a little light. Uh, the resin is a you know, almost a transparent resin, so it, it's not a very heavy pen. I usually prefer... Uh, pens that have a little more more weight to them. Um, that's why maybe may be a good idea just to keep writing and yeah yeah you know posting it gives me that little more weight. Um, as you can see, very smooth. The line variation on the 1.1 is not too much. Okay, so it's not a thick 1.1. Just right, I think. Just right. In terms of my rating, let's rate this pen. I gotta tell you, I was pleasantly surprised when I opened it up. Um, the chatoyancy on that resin uh, has made my day. Uh, I really thought I was getting something, ah, you know, I just, it's a Delta pen, so I figured I'd buy it, but I wasn't expecting it to be this nice, frankly. Um, nothing extravagant. I would give it a 9.6. The nib, on the other hand, is a 9.8. It's just very, very smooth. And in terms of uh, value, well, at 123 euros, it's excellent, excellent value. Okay? So um, I would say excellent. So there you have it. Um, that's the Delta Dune Horizon. I hope you enjoyed this short review it's a great pen take a look at it i'm sure you'll enjoy it if you want to order it go ahead check it out they're not all the websites have this pen uh, i purchased it at a, um, a store by the name of novelli italia uh, and i found that i believe their prices were the best so i'll put that in my description well thank you very much and uh, subscribe and see you in the next video